With the release of the gameplay demo and gameplay trailer, people have noticed there are some discrepancies between the two. Did the demo actually have worse visuals? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another gameplay commentary video. Today we're talking about the visuals of the demo versus the trailer that we saw uh, for Halo Infinite. Now, if you guys do know, those were recently released on the same day. And then one, the demo is kind of more like a straight gameplay reveal of Halo Infinite. Well, the trailer is, well, a gameplay trailer where it shows gameplay, but it's very fast cut and very high action, kind of trying to be more flashy about the whole thing. And, you know, we're both very excited about this, me as a Halo fan and content creator. I'm very excited to see these bits of the content being released. For one, I get to put something else in my videos besides the announcement trailer and Discover Hope trailer, so that's cool. <laughs> but uh, other than that though, uh, some people have been kind of dissecting and looking like frame by frame to kind of break this whole thing down and see if there's anything that we're missing. And so far there hasn't been anything that's been found out that's like a groundbreaking little tidbit of information. But the one thing I've noticed in the community, at least on Twitter and some other places, saying that how the demo visuals actually look worse than the trailer. Now I definitely want to go more into this as and that's quite a significant statement there to make and then in this video we're going to go into a few side by side screenshot comparisons so you guys can see whether or not the demo actually has worse visuals than the trailer so in this first comparison it's kind of the main picture comparisons i've been seeing online and on the left side you can see what the demo gameplay is and on the right is the trailer gameplay so now these are screenshots that i took in Adobe Premiere at 1080p. So there is that. That's the best, the best quality I can get for what we're working with right now, guys. Uh, there are no 4K images I could have pulled for side-by-side -side comparisons. And you can see on the left side how the demo does have a bit flatter textures to it. The lighting isn't as in-depth. And you can kind of see it's much more just basic looking, where the one on the right for the trailer has a much more worn down kind of look to it. The lighting is hitting it a lot more better. It's a lot better lit. Obviously, there are two completely different sun angles you're looking at, and uh, it looks like roughly about the same time of day for the most part, like a dusk evening kind of time. So you can kind of see the visual discrepancies between the two, and they can also tell like on the, the glove of Master Chief as well, where it's much more shiny. You can see the textures on it, especially with the texturing on the armor, compared to the demo on the left side, where it's much more flat, much more matte, and not as uh, worn or used or shiny or showing the textures as well. Now I thought that when I first saw this on Twitter, I was like, oh God, did we just get bamboozled on the demo or on the trailer? Well, not so much. If you check out this next image right here, you can kind of see what, this is another screenshot that I took up from the demo as well. And you can kind of see how it actually looks about the same compared to the uh, the trailer version, as you can see that wear and tear, you can see how the depth of the lighting is really showing a lot better. It could just be that it was just like the lighting angles and stuff like that, that people were seeing when it comes to this uh, demo versus gameplay reveal. And, uh, you know, and obviously you can see like the, um, the shininess on the glove and the texturing as well as the armor that I think that might've been just like a bad angle to show people around. So if you're seeing that going around on Twitter or other else on the internet, like I think I've seen this on Reddit as well, that it could have just been the lighting for the situation as we cannot do a proper one by one comparison between these two. So I thought beyond the mangler, I thought I would jump into other angles and other comparisons of the screenshots. And I did find some other comparisons that you might want to look at as well. Uh, we have a picture of the Ravager, which is a new weapon within Halo Infinite as well. This is a side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously the lighting is a little bit different, uh, but you can kind of just get an idea of what the texturing is more like. And you can kind of see how uh, they're both on the left and right sides are very similar in the textures. Uh, they're both rather smooth, don't look super warm down or anything they have a little bit of wear and tear but nothing to the point where it looks like it's like beating up like how halo reach was uh so 
You can kind of see the comparisons between these two are not exactly the same. Uh, the lighting on the one on the right does look better, but I think that's just because of the time of day and the angle of the lighting will mess with that, certainly. There's another side-by-side -side comparison of the new shotgun that's in the game as well, and you can see that on the left and the right that the difference of the lighting angles does certainly play a part. I tried getting the best I can for, the, for similar comparisons to see if, if it was an overall downgrade for the demo to make sure it ran properly, or if it was an overall upgrade to make the trailer look better. And for the most part, they all seem rather similar. Again, these are 1080p uh, screenshots taken from Adobe Premiere, so I'm not able to get like the excellent 4K amazing quality, so if I was going to do that, then I would be taking like screenshots from my monitor, which are, would be in 1440p, and that's just not exactly the uh, best way to go about the game screenshots like this. And so you can kind of see the difference in the, the textures. Again, something so detailed as like wear and tear on textures for weapons will definitely show more in game when you're actually playing it in front of yourself, rather than looking at it through like a monitor, which could be in 1080p, streaming it through the internet, which is deep, which is compressed, and then also it may be a different resolution on top of that, like 1080 or, or uh, 4K resolution for most people. So you can kind of see how this one, they're both rather similar, so I wouldn't be stressing about it too much. Uh, this next one though, this next image, does kind of show a little bit of a difference though. Uh, this is the difference of the arm from Chief when he's using the grapple hook. Obviously that these are two different kind of angles of which you're shooting the grapple hook, so it may look at that map may change a few things. The lighting angles are a little different as well. But uh, you can see a lot more reflection and li better lighting on Master Chief's arm as a whole on the right side for the trailer comparison. But for the demo, it's much more muted, I would say, is kind of the best way to describe it. Again, like I said, this could just be just angle differences. Maybe the trailer version of this, uh, you know, what we're seeing for Halo Infinite is actually a much more up-to-date version, and the demo was probably finished back in like, you know, May or June when uh, they were trying to get something together for E3. So that could be something there as well to take in consideration. As we do know with Halo 5, it did re receive a significant visual difference between the beta and the release of the game as well. So it wouldn't be the first time 343 has changed the visuals at all from the time of first seeing the game to the time of release. Uh, so two very important things I think to keep in consideration when it comes to understanding the visuals of Halo Infinite. Now, did we get bamboozled when it comes to the visuals in the demo? I don't necessarily think so. They may have downgraded a few visuals just to make sure the game ran super well. I mean, even during the demo, I did notice some pop-in textures and clouds and geometry and stuff like that as well. Uh, we can look into that a little bit in a different video when I'm dissecting the uh, demo trailer in another video soon. So if you guys wanna catch that demo trailer breakdown awesomeness, make sure you subscribe to the channel, keep yourself up to date with anything awesome Halo happens on the channel, or just make sure you stay up to date with all the information that's happening with the community as Halo Infinite's gameplay is out in the wild. We're going to have a lot more information coming about Halo Infinite in the near future as well. So maybe when the game actually releases, we'll see a much better visual appearance of the game. Because I'll be honest, some of the parts where I saw, uh, like especially like with like the pillars, they were looked rather flat. I saw, like it seemed like a lot of the texturing was rather flat, especially like on the AR as well. They didn't seem as much like wear and tear, just like it didn't feel like it was as realistic as it should feel. Uh, I mean, even if the most pristine perfect weapon still has some imperfections to it or just like you're bringing out these weapons where have been kicked around you know beaten up and used a ton of, you know i'm assuming at least with these weapons that you see somewhere in terra on them maybe not to the extent of halo reach as that was kind of much more gritty uh, and darker kind of game where i think this one's a much more brighter vibrant kind of game so you'd see weapons with less wear and tear on them just kind of to fit the visual theme of the whole thing uh, but so far, from my experience, from what I've seen from these uh, comparisons, I think it might just be more lighting and bright lights might be bringing out the textures and the quality of the angles and wear and tear on weapons and armor and stuff like that a little bit more than uh, it could be expected. But let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys feel like the graphic or our graphical differences between the demo and the trailer that we saw? Though I will say also like on some of the characters, the lighting did look a little flat as well. So maybe things could change between now and then. They certainly have in previous Halo games. So this isn't final. This is something that could be updated. Like they said with the slip space engine almost anything in the game can be modified and changed and updated to better suit the needs of the games and what 
the community wants. So next we're gonna be breaking down the gameplay demo guys so make sure you tap subscribe to the channel keep you guys up to date with everything going on there make sure you check out the videos on the screen over here if you missed any content from me recently got a link to all my news and informational videos i've been uploading like a madman with this new information out guys so check out any videos if you missed anything from me recently i'll catch you all in the next video peace out